Oh man, I, I just can't really agree with that. I, I just don't think movies are real life. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. Um, they may be. You know, I'm not gonna be. Don't get me wrong on this. Um, just just going through the process of going through a studio and whatnot. They, they could be real. Like, uh, don't don't deny the possibility of another dimensioning opening up. And um. <laughs> back from the rift. What's up guys, this is Worst, and I'm here to tell you that I'm in a brand new place. Yes, a brand new place, can you believe it? I've been doing this show for years and years, and finally I got the recognition I deserve, getting out with the old and in with the new. That's right, this time it's a celebration of the old, the freaking 80s, as you can see by my tea. Yeah, guys, I'm totally in love with this brand new place. I got Trav living with me. He's in the kitchen right now. This film comes from the 80s, guys. The beginning of great movies. It was the beginning and the end of great music. In the past, I have reviewed some major trash, guys. Like, it was terrible crap. This time, I'm going to be reviewing the most amazing superhero in fact it was the first superhero movie ever made batman 1987 yes i'm aware there were probably other superhero movies before this but really since they're not in the 80s do they really matter not even close actually the film we're talking about today is directed by my man jim burton that's right Jim Bo. yes the director of other films such as this movie is a masterpiece of celluloid. Talking about, we got my man Michael Bale playing, you know, Batman. He's a bat man. A bat dressed up as a man. This film was made the same year as Vampire's Kiss, which we all know. It was one of the greatest of all freaking time, guys. Like, you can't even comprehend how amazing the 80s were because you were not there. And don't even talk to me about the 90s. Right now, guys, I feel like I'm definitely equipped. I have watched this movie at least half of a time. And I can tell you, I'm so equipped, so equipped to review this with my brain skills. I think it's time that this masterpiece of L.A. Noir just got its recognition. Nolan borrowed from it. Nolan, of all directors, just got all of the inspiration just so, is so well. Like, he remade this film into Batman 05. It was such a genius move how he did this. I cannot believe. This character of Batman is so complex, guys. Like, so complex that not even he can comprehend how complex. And, of course, it translates very well into film. But, guys, I'd be remiss. Remiss! without explaining the superior sequel. How did a sequel become so superior? Literally, with Batman 2. I am still blown away by this freaking, like, all these movies in the 80s are amazing. We didn't catch a break in freaking 87. Like, the sequel was released later that year. Batman 2, you got... Freaking Spider-Man coming out way later. Like, who even cares? It's like, Batman is the best. And then we got, like I said, the Christian Nolan version, Batman 2000. It was amazing. Like, the series thrives on this character. And, like, that's the key to this series. You got civilians coming out. The freaking wazoo! Toothpaste man! And 
time guy, it's all there. L like literally, I would be so, so sad not to mention the score by Danny Elf score. You got the best piece of music ever. Way better than Hans Gruber, way better than freaking like, it's Sean Williams. It's Sean Williams and he did like all these movies. Jim Burton, I can't go without saying that he has directed some of the greatest superhero man films of all time. Like literally, Batman, Mask of the Joker, come on guys, based on the 77 animated Batman show, guys, it's... It's, it's all so good, you gotta just check it all out. Frozone's Revenge, like come on, Mr. Frozone, the classic, classic. And, and it's all great, all great, all except for all the trash in the 90s. Okay, so Michael Bale plays an, uh, like a really well crafted Batman. Like Jim Burton knows what he's doing when it comes to, you know, you know Michael, you know, like, choosing all these Michael guys to play Batman, like, in a row, like, it, you almost don't even notice that the actors have changed over time. Like, Michael Clooney, Michael Kilmer, I think, like, literally, they, they, they play it so well, and they all look the exact same. Even Nolan played Batman, like, in that Batman Rises, like, I, yeah, it was the new one. Yeah, Batman Rises, yeah, I got it. You, you, you cannot argue that it's not the best, you know, Batman, like, Jim Burton film ever made. You cannot argue. There's literally, it's objective. It's not even, you, you can't even argue this stuff anymore. Amazing. It's like the one of the first movies in a long time. I actually sat and watched at least halfway through. Usually I don't even get a quarter of the way through movies anymore. They're just that bad, but this one, I at least sat through half. Definitely have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next Worst Reviews, and next time, maybe I'll come up with something even better, or maybe just more trash. Definitely check me out next time on freaking this... I think I'm on YouTube. Just raises too many questions. I'm going to bed, guys.